rank as a four-star general, but the war ended a few months after I was promoted. As a child, I came from a wealthy East Virginia family with a long military history. I grew up with big dreams of joining the army and becoming a parent. In 1909, I graduated from West Point Military Academy, and in 1913, became a cavalry lieutenant and aide de camp to General John J. Pershing in Mexico, but not before finishing first place in the first one in town in the 1912 Summer Olympics. While in Mexico, I was given the difficult task of capturing and killing two widely worshipped Mexican bandidos named Pancho Villa and Julio Cardenas. In the I have proceeded to hunt down these two villains, and in the end, managed to corner Julio Cardenas inside a stable. He took him and two bandidos with him. He tried to get away, but I shot the ball and strapped him to the hood of my car and drove back to base with them displayed like dead deer. In the First World War, I did. I served as I joined the 304th Art Tech Corps and was made commander within a few weeks. In the Second World War, I was promoted to a major general in the NB. And was given charge of the Third Army and Second Armored Division. An event. The climax of my career. Came, came with my dramatic, with the dramatic speed of my third, of my great third army across France, in which I relieved the Nazi cities Palermo, Laval, Mayan, Le Mans, Reims, Trier, and Chalons, the Nazi occupation, and captured and killed over 100,000 Nazis. An event occurred with, that nearly ended my career when I was visiting a field hospital in Southwest. I walked into one of the tents and found a soldier named uh, named Charles Colt suffering from the cell shock and sitting on his bed. I called him a coward, slapped him in the face, and kicked him out the door, and I was relieved of my command of the Seventh Army of Anyways, after the Second World War was over, I was, me and one of my fellow generals were driving along near Heidelberg, Germany, when an army truck pulled out of a nearby military depot and rammed my car in the side, making me the only one injured. I was taken to a hospital where they discovered a broken neck and I was said to be recovering, but I was but I died a few weeks but I died about a week later and evidence had been found that I was poisoned by members of the KGB the Russians. I'm buried in Luxembourg. Well done.